On March 10, 2020, Lady Vols softball played North Carolina in Sherry Parker Lee Stadium. It was a 3-2 loss to the Tar Heels. Every game after that was canceled. Fast forward to February 2021, the first game in 11 months, the Kickin' Chicken Classic Tournament at Coastal Carolina. It's canceled because of inclement weather. Fortunately, a last second doubleheader was put together against Eastern Kentucky. The only problem, no fans. Well, at least not inside the stadium. It's been a long journey. There are no fans in the stands today. Ashley Rogers rips and fires. Ball one outside, and we are underway for the 2021 season here at Lee Stadium. After a long and winding journey to get back to softball, no fans in the stands for Tennessee in the home opener. If you want to find fans, you're going to have to look a little closer. Closer. What I say? There they are. We are so excited to get to finally watch some softball. Up the hill near the train tracks. Linda Rogers is here to watch her daughter, Ashley, pitch for the Lady Vols. The starter was injured before the COVID-19 shutdown, so it's been a bit since she had a chance. I'm 600 and something days, she said, since it's been a real game. So that's way too long. So we are desperate for softball, which is why we're out here on the train tracks. For Bryce Collier, his girlfriend is on the team. Happy Valentine's Day, by the way. I appreciate it. <laughs> Collier is a former athlete himself. He knows that hard work the team puts in for this moment. I know how much it means to these girls, the, the work they've put in um, over the past year at least. Going through practice, it's great. You, you get to perfect your craft, but it's nothing like, you know, lacing up the cleats and playing against somebody different. And so I know how much it means to them to finally get back on the field and, and show what they're capable of. No fans is not a permanent situation. With the way the game came together this weekend, the teams couldn't get enough personnel to make it a safe environment. A limited number of fans will be allowed in starting next weekend. But until then, yes, well, one more, one more. This view is not too bad. Ashley Rogers, by the way, in game one where she started, gave up one hit, had 13 strikeouts and allowed zero runs. Plus, hey, Tennessee won the game, too.